is the outside of the old inn at Appen. That's Castle Stalker in the bay there. So that's Christine walking away from me once again. Oh, nice uh, bit of wood carving there. And the bar is just through there. I would like to have a look, but I'm a bit early, it's not open yet. So this is the inside of the old inn. I've just met Jim, the owner, and he was kind enough to let me in, even though we're not open yet. And I'm just going to give you a wee quick swizz around the pub. To have a look at it, I think it's very atmospheric, old stone walls, beautiful nice tables, a real fire in the corner. Lots of small individual tables and the menu here is fabulous as well. I think I mentioned in the book about the big Highlander steak that they do. There's loads of other stuff and just a great use of an old building. And over here you see the absolutely fabulously well stocked bar. I like the fact that it's actually decorated. The bar is actually just three barrels with wood on top of it. But a good number of taps here and beers from the West Brewery. Nice. Uh, I'm in the old inn in Appen and I'm lucky enough to be speaking to the owner. Uh, what, what's the pub all about? Tell me all about the pub. The pub, um, the pub originally started about um, six years ago, a conversation in a pub, right. about a pub, right. uh, with a guy who owns a castle, Alistair, who, who's my business partner, and he always wanted the bar. Yeah. And we said, I just told him, Alistair, 18 months, we'll have it open, I promise you. Uh -huh. uh, so, Right, okay, we'll do it. So right. anyway, so the deal was said, you're not allowed to, you just lie low and it'll be done. Right. So I think we're about 19 months from the time we're going to open it. So ah. it's, originally this is the barn, and the bit we're in here just now. That's right, the, the building's really old, isn't it? Aye, aye. 1670. 1670, it's older than I thought it was. As close as we can get to, aye. Uh, aye. that's the date, 1670. So, um, but it's quite hard for the old sassy makers getting things that date. So yeah. And the original inn was in the building next door, wasn't it? A kitchen. Uh, the kitchen in, was a private dining room. Oh, you, I didn't know you had a private dining room. Aye, we've got a whiskey tasting room in the bar and we do a private dining room uh -huh. as well. Generally in the winter uh, we use that, but the original bar itself I think probably shut about 1880. That's right. as close as we, we look at all right. statistical, statistical accounts, about 1880. Right. But now it's opened up again, who, who comes here? Who comes to you? Locals, we're a huge local trade for food. Uh, we specialise in steaks, um, we've got a very good relationship with um, Eden Day Farm and Space Side, so we've got 90% of our beef from there. Uh, it's all Space, Highlander. Space Side Beef Space Highlander, Highlander. Beef nice. Right. All okay. Highlanders, all yeah. 20, 23 months and 6 weeks matured. Uh, so lovely, really, really sort of, it's quite a gamey meat. Right. Uh, it's quite right. different, but uh, uh -huh. it's cracking, it's a bit different. But people yeah. love it. That's good, and uh, I think you've got a lot of trade from the marina as well. From yeah, the down in the marina, they send, especially this time of year, the sun's out, the yachts are in constantly, yeah. so uh, you obviously recognise them with their yellow wellies and their, <laughs> their red jackets in the camp. They're still wearing yellow, I mean, the sun's been shining for a week uh, and they're still wearing well. Oh, they'll have it on today, they'll have it on today. Yeah. But yes, they send yeah. loads down, so we've got, we always regard them as locals now, because they've, they've yeah. had their boats there for years and years, yeah, so yeah. we'll see them every year now, so it's quite nice. Good, good. so good food, uh, locals come here, the yachtsmen come here. Yeah. Uh, I love what you've done with the place. I love the fact that you, you've opened up the barn aspect. This rustic look is yeah. just, I love it. It's, well, the whole, nice, the yeah. whole theory was don't do much to it. As, yeah. as little as we can, so the floor as it was, the walls are as it was, the, the weathering windows as these were originally just to, to take the cattle and the, the horses and the weather. That was we just glassed them off. Right. That was it. Uh, I've noticed you've got a good range of beers up there as well. Uh, beers from the West Brewery as well. I love the West yeah, Brewery. Yeah, we use West in Glasgow. Um, well, just recently we've started using uh, Glenspeen, Glenspeen Brewery, which is just up Spin Bridge. Oh, no, I don't know that one. The crack of new brewery, really nice, really nice beer. So yeah. we've taken on their IPA, which flies off, and their Prat Lager. Right. Also, Merchant City Brewers in Glasgow, we've been using their Pilsner, which is nice. Another so, one I need to try. Aye, yeah. it's really nice, nice yeah. and fresh. So, aye, and fine nails as well, we use them sometimes. I've got a good relationship with Fine Nails, I know Mungo and his brother quite yep, well. So, yep. so uh, we just started there, they took a lager on as well. We, we find uh, a lot of people look for the bitters and the ales and everything, but we actually sell a lot of lagers. So yeah. I just yeah. Uh -huh. So we've talked about the food, we've talked about the building, we've talked about the beer. Is there anything else you want to tell me about the bar? Why should people come here? Why should people come here? itself is just a, it's a really central point. You can use, you're here, you're 100 miles from Glasgow, you're 100 miles from Edinburgh, you're 100 miles from Inverness. 
you're 100 miles from Campbelltown, if you want to cook <laughs> down the alley, so you're two and a half hours, two hours from every airport you want to, uh, and you're only two minutes you're in, you're in the deepest part of the highlands, wherever you want to go. So it's a great race. There's three or four nice restaurants in Afrin, uh, lovely accommodation. It's, it's, a, it's a real central point. Sounds like good reasons to me, right? Yeah, uh, and they, well, I've nothing else I want to ask you, so I'll say thank you very much for your time. Fantastic, thank, thank you. you. And come along. Uh, come along and enjoy the food and the drink here. So that was very kind of Jim to open up early and let me in to see the pub. A beautiful old building, lots of history and very well done. Very little done to the building but it looks great. Excellent menu as well. And also when you step outside you have Castle Stalker and the beautiful Scottish countryside round about. This is another pub that you've probably never seen, probably never heard of. So if you want to see more pubs like this, check out my book, 100 Great Scottish Pubs and you'll see more pubs like the Old Inn and various other types. Sailing bars, hill walking bars, fishing bars, great whiskey bars. Check out the book, it's available on Amazon. Until uh, next time, Slanjava.